What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chaz, this is Chaz Made That. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make sick graphics like this using Charlie Pangus' groundbreaking new plugin, Auto Thresh. Let's get into it. So here we are in Photoshop. As you can see, our artwork is already composited and grouped up. It's nothing special, just something quick I threw together for the video. The first step here is we're gonna hit, if you're on Windows, you're gonna hit Shift, Control, Alt, E. That's gonna merge our artwork down to one layer. Then we're gonna go over to plugins and we're gonna bring out Auto Thresh. Now, as soon as you load in Auto Thresh, it's gonna come with its own preset colors and settings. Um, I like to tweak that around a bit, but we're gonna hit apply just so you can see what it does. The plugin's gonna think for a little bit and you get this, which honestly, I'm not mad at, it's really cool. But for our sake, we're gonna play with things a little bit more. So you're going to hit reset. That's going to undo everything. We're going to go to fabric color, turn that to dark. We're going to go to highlights, make that a nice white, maybe just below there. We're going to fade this yellow a bit. We're going to make the midtones a nice red. Hmm. Something I like. Yeah, it's cool. We're just gonna bring the shadows down a bit. Underneath each color selector is a threshold adjustment slider. And you're gonna play with that just to get the effect you want. Me, I already know what I wanna do. Okay, now that I have all the settings I like, you can copy my settings if you want, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'm gonna hit apply. The plugin's gonna think, do some math. And that's what we're left with. And that is dope. That's fire. That's honestly ready to go as it is. So let's say you don't really like the grainy threshold style. The dope thing about auto thresh is it comes with a drop down menu, which allows you to pick from six different dither patterns here. So let's hit emulsion. So it changes it to an emulsion style. And we can go to this slider here and move it down. We can change the pattern size. The plugin will automatically update it. And there we go. And that's fire too. That's dope. You have half tones. Half tones a bit iffy. You have to make it kind of small. And there we go. Tiny little half tones. But I think I like, I think I like, hmm, I'm thinking I like grain. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Make it a little bigger. All right, so I'm content with this. It hits all the boxes for me. Um, this is dope. <laughs> this is fire. And if you look, Everything is down to the pixel, tiny little grains. Let's go over to the Chrome. That's nuts. That's wild. Yeah, that's fire. So our next step here is going to be, you're gonna go back over to Auto Thresh and you're gonna hit Knockout. And what that's doing, that's separating all your colors into individual layers. If we click on the smart object here, we see everything is now, here I'll, I'll make a black rectangle for you guys to see. Everything is now separated. So if we remove the highlights, the highlights are gone. We remove the midtones, midtones are gone. 
it's perfect the next thing we're going to do is hit make spot colors spot colors what that's doing is separating all of our layers all our color layers into their own individual uh pngs or, or spaces um which makes it perfect for screen printing and if we hit the smart object here it also adds a little choke down under base here, i'll add another rectangle here for you guys to see so if we look here everything is now nothing overlaps it nothing overlaps each other see the highlights are gone and there's a white underbase underneath which makes this perfect for screen printing so now we're back to our artwork let's say we're ready to export um, the convenient little thing about auto thresh is if you go up here hit export it's going to cut every color layer into its own png and export it to your desktop which is also fire super convenient so if we look here now my desktop everything is on its own you can send that off to a screen printer and it'll make his job i promise you if you send your files to a screen printer like this uh they will love you i know from experience so now that we've seen all the features in auto thresh uh let's quickly mock this up a quick way to do that is to just if you're on windows hit shift control alt e That'll put everything, merge everything down to one layer. You're just going to use your magic wand tool. Let's turn the tolerance down. Turn off. Make sure contiguous is turned off. Just turn the tolerance to like 20. Mm, we'll go like 13. Select the background and delete it. going to use we're going to use my new mock-up which at the time of at the time this video is released it should be available on my website so you guys can go ahead and get that all we have to do is double click the smart object and drag our artwork right on in You can center it however you want, however you feel is right. Exit out, save your smart object. And there you go. Our artwork is mocked up. That's fire. That is fire. So there you have it. I just showed you guys how to make super dope graphics with Charlie Pangus' new plugin, Auto Thresh. If you guys want to buy Auto Thresh or anything else on Charlie's website, make sure to use code CHAZMADETHAT. It'll give you a nice 10% discount and I get a little bit of a kickback, which helps fund the channel. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out some of my assets. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.